So um, just to give a bit of an overview about um, entrance processes in these estuaries in general. So whether the mouth is open or closed um, at its kind of most fundamental uh, form is this function of competing energies. So we have uh, river flow and rainfall and runoff from the catchment trying to push through um, the sandbar at the mouth. And then always opposing that um, is sediment transport onshore by waves. So it's really that ratio or balance between whether river flow or waves is winning the battle. So for example, in our closed state, we have low river flow. Um, so usually, generally, uh, summer times and, and drought periods. And then relative to that, we have a high wave energy coming from the ocean side. So what that means is the net direction of sediment transport is onshore. Our waves um, have enough energy behind them and they start to build the berm or sandbar at the mouth. Um, in the closed state, we can see waves overwash the berm. Um, so that delivers not just a bit of salt water to the lower part of the estuary, um, but also sediment as well, which can keep building the berm into the lagoon. And so that usually happens at high tides um, and also is more common during our spring or bigger high tides. When we look at the open state here, um, the tables are kind of turned. So we have periods of high river flow, and that flow has enough energy that it can beat the waves that are depositing sediment. So the flow punches through uh, the sandbar and the estuary um, becomes open. So that usually happens um, when we have high rainfall in the catchment, runoff, um, and then the lagoon overtops the berm. Sometimes if the estuary is really full or really perched, um, we can get waves overwashing at high tide, and then as the tide falls, it might actually breach um, through water kind of seeping through the berm. And so when we have our open um, entrance conditions, like you can see here, the impact um, of tides actually becomes quite important um, in maintaining the open entrance. So our ebbing tides or our outgoing tides, if they've pushed up into the lagoon um, and then are kind of going back to sea, those currents can concentrate at the mouth um, and act to scour out the entrance. 